Something that players have been taught wrong is to point their stick directly at the net after they shoot as their follow through. Bedard doesn't do that. And there's a really good reason that Bedard doesn't do that. So here we're going to go through what Bedard does mechanically to shoot. And the big difference with him is that he will use his top hand and pull it directly back into his hip rather than pulling it back directly into his shoulder. And what this does is it creates kind of like this rotational effect for his shaft and he's able to create a lot more swing speed um, with his shaft that way. And ultimately he's shooting 82.7 miles per hour in the NHL you know, as an 18 year old player. And it's not unique to him. Matthews uses this type of release. A lot of other NHLers use that type of release. Bringing the top hand lower than the bottom hand when you finish your shot, or you can think of it like crossing your hands just like uh, Bedard's doing here.